Hypoglycemia can be seen in many people, but the most common one is those with diabetes who are on medication to lower blood sugar. Most of us often think that hypoglycemia is only encountered when hungry. In fact, this disease has many causes, understanding this disease will help us early detect and minimize the risk of affecting health. What is hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia is a decrease in blood sugar, glucose below normal levels. When blood sugar levels drop to less than 3.9 mmol, L, it's called hypoglycemia. Show more clearly when the lower blood sugar, down to less than 3.0 mmol, L, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, in diabetics occurs when there is too much insulin and not enough glucose in the blood. Patients need to pay attention to the early warning signs so that they can be treated promptly, otherwise, diabetic hypoglycemia can lead to seizures, loss of consciousness. Glucose is carried throughout the body, has the role of nourishing the organizations to ensure the life of each person. It is considered as a very important energy source and essential for the nervous system, brain organization. So when blood sugar drops, it affects the body's functions. Early warning signs of hypoglycemia Signs of hypoglycemia vary from patient to patient and usually appear near the time of the meal. According to doctors, some symptoms of hypoglycemia can be divided into two groups include signs of autonomic nervous system disorders, sudden fatigue, tremor, rapid heartbeat, sweating, cold, and humidity, anxiety, dizziness, headache, feeling of hunger. Signs of central nervous system disorders, double vision, confusion, abnormal behavior, memory loss, loss of consciousness, convulsions, coma. Untreated hypoglycemia can lead to serious problems such as seizures or unconsciousness that require urgent care. If a person is losing consciousness or is unable to swallow glucose due to low blood sugar, don't inject insulin, as this will cause your blood sugar to drop even more. In that case, either inject glucagon, a hormone that stimulates the release of sugar into the bloodstream, or call emergency services for immediate treatment. If hypoglycemic symptoms appear several times a week or more, get a checkup and may need to change the dosage of your diabetes medicine. The cause of hypoglycemia Hypoglycemia in diabetics can be seen with insulin therapy or the use of antidiabetic tablets. Inside, hypoglycemia during insulin therapy can be caused by mistakes in injection method and dose, insulin overdose, insulin absorbed too quickly or too long due to subcutaneous fat dystrophy in insulin injection sites for a long time, injection of heavily active areas arms, legs, apply hot compresses after injection, incorrect insulin injection injected into muscle, diet mistakes, eating too slowly after insulin injections, insufficient food, lack of snacks, skip meals, eat too little and still inject insulin. Other causes, due to infrequent physical activity, impaired kidney function. The case of hypoglycemia caused by the anti-diabetic tablets is encountered when, take the medicine away from the main meal or not eat but still take it. Taking the wrong dose of medicine, extreme physical activity, the first aid when having a sudden hypoglycemia when the patient has symptoms of hypoglycemia, it is necessary to quickly bring blood sugar to a safe level, avoiding the risk of injury or excessive hyperglycemia. The processing steps are as follows, when there are signs of hypoglycemia, patients should quickly stop using oral hypoglycemic drugs or insulin. If the case of the patient is mild, still alert should immediately give sugar water, or add sugar-containing drinks. Then can use more types of porridge, milk, fruit, cakes. In several cases, the patient fell into a coma, due to loss of consciousness, the inability to swallow, if given orally, it could cause choking into the respiratory tract. These patients need to quickly intervene a solution of hypertonic sweetener 20 to 30 percent, 40 to 60 milliliters, then combined with a drip infusion of glucose solution with 5 to 10 percent concentration to avoid the risk of recurrence of hypoglycemia. Glucose will continue to pass until the patient fully recovers and is able to eat and drink by himself. Have the patient retest blood sugar after 15 minutes, if it does not improve, the patient must immediately go to the medical facility for treatment. In case the patient is in a coma, do not give him food or drink because it is easy to choke into the lungs. 
If there is a sensation of hypoglycemia while driving, observe, check the safety of the surrounding road and immediately stop on the side of the road. Deliberately driving in this situation may cause an accident because the driving concentration is reduced, the reaction to the brake lever is slow or the limbs cannot move. Also, it is better not to drive if you feel you might have hypoglycemia. Always carry glucose with you, most people do not know when and where hypoglycemia occurs. Patients on medication should always carry glucose with them at all times. In order to be readily available in the event of an emergency, it is recommended that people prepare glucose and keep it in their bags if they are women, in their casual bags if they are men. Things diabetics should pay attention to in everyday life to avoid the risk of hypoglycemia, a common complication in patients with diabetes, the patient needs to comply with the treatment instructions of the doctor. The goal is to bring blood sugar to the allowable index of 3.9 to 6.4 mmol L and monitor the HbA1c index every three months to control complications of diabetes. Hypoglycemia is easy to happen and shows signs of progression, so in addition to overcoming the disease, patients should actively prevent and control daily sugar levels in the body to protect their own health by some simple measures like the patient needs to follow the healthiest lifestyle possible. If the patient follows the indicated calorie diet, takes or injects the medication at the indicated time and has a certain exercise, the insulin balance will not be altered. Exercise should be avoided when hungry and early in the morning. Eat plenty of vegetables, beans, and fruits such as avocados, apples, pears, peaches, and cherry. These are foods with a low glycemic index. Limit white potatoes and refined grain products such as white bread and white pasta to a side dish in small amounts. Limit concentrated sweets to include high-calorie foods such as ice cream. Reduce fruit juice, no more than one glass a day. Completely eliminate sugary drinks. Eat healthy protein at most meals, such as fish, beans, or skinless chicken. Choose foods with healthy fats like olive oil, butter, and vegetable oils. Limit saturated fat from milk. Eat three meals, and especially don't skip breakfast. Eat slowly and stop when you feel it is enough. Eat more snacks as soon as the sugar level shows signs of being low or when signs of new illness appear. Regularly check blood sugar and adhere to treatment according to the instructions of doctors, do not voluntarily take drugs without a prescription or stop taking medicine when the symptoms improve. In addition to nutrition, patients with diabetes should pay attention to regular exercise so that your body can be active, thereby reducing the amount of calories in the body. Above are detailed information about hypoglycemia as well as effective remedies and preventive measures. If treated early and properly, the disease can be cured without leaving any dangerous complications.